I know you haven't seen us in a little bit because we've been taking a little bit of a break, but I had to interrupt the break and tell you because something super exciting is coming up and I had to celebrate it with you. Are you ready? Okay. So this story actually happens a hundred years ago. So that's even before Miss Lisa was born. It was a really long time ago. So 100 years ago is where our story takes place. Are you ready? Okay. So 100 years ago, a lot of people who were very brave did something amazing for me. But I wasn't born yet. You know what happened? Do you know what voting is? We should talk about that first. Voting is how we choose who is in charge of our country and who's in charge of our state and our city. And those people make the decisions that help guide the rest of us. So they help us stay safe. They help make choices for us. And we get to pick those people. So if we pick really good people, fantastic things happen. If we don't get to help pick, then we're not really represented by the choices that are made, right? All right, so that's a real quick on voting. So 100 years ago, I would not have been allowed to vote. I wouldn't have been. Do you know why? Because I'm a woman and women weren't allowed to vote yet in America. Now in other countries, everybody has different rules about how their voting works, okay? So we're just talking about in the United States, what the rules were. So women weren't allowed to vote. So I wouldn't have been allowed to pick who makes those big choices for our country and our state and our city. Well, that's not fair, is it? It's not. So some very brave women starting a couple hundred years ago, starting a long time ago, started fighting for their right to vote and they were called suffragettes. I know, this is a lot of information. You're doing great. All right, we're gonna start by reading a story about voting and how voting works. Are you ready? Okay. This one is called, I Voted. Mm -hmm. And it also says, Making a Choice Makes a Difference. It's by Mark Schulman and Serge Block. All right. And it's from Neil Porter Books. Which do you like better? Apples or oranges? Hmm, which one do you like better? I think I like apples better. Markers or crayons? Do you have a preference? Ooh, that's a tricky one. I like them both. Trampolines or swimming pools? Oh, my answer's gonna be swimming pools. Yeah, I got hurt on a trampoline a long time ago. Some choices are easy to make. Ice cream or onions? Mm, I think I'd pick ice cream. Some choices are harder. Ice cream or cupcakes? Anytime you choose one thing instead of another, you could say that you voted for it. When you're the only one voting, you tend to get what you want. But usually, people are voting together. Imagine you're choosing a classroom pet or a new pet for your house. Everyone will be voting Look at, they have a lot of different votes, don't they? And the pet you'll all get is the pet that most people voted for. So even if, even if it isn't the one you wanted. So if you want your choice to win, here's what you could do before everyone votes. You can let people know which choice you want. You can work with the people who want the same thing. You could talk to people who want something different. Maybe you will change their mind. Or maybe they will change yours. That only happens if you're actually listening to what the other people say. Mm -hmm. It's an important tip. Then when it's time to vote, you vote. It's simple. Sometimes everyone knows what you choose. When it's done like this. Sometimes it's a secret. But everyone's vote must get counted. And the winner is whoever gets the most votes. 
Maybe your side will win. Hooray! Maybe your side will not. But if you don't win, you don't get to, or if you don't vote, you don't get to choose. And your vote might be the one that actually makes the difference. Win or lose, when everyone follows the rules, voting is fair for everyone. It's the same when grown-ups vote. Grown-ups vote for the people who help run our towns, our cities, our states, and our country. They could be mayors, governors, state representatives, senators, or even the President of the United States. These people pass laws that change the way we all live. So we have to choose our leaders really carefully because different leaders want different things. Some will do things you really, really like. Some will do things you really, really don't. That's why it's important to choose the leaders we want. So we vote. We vote for candidates. A candidate is someone asking for your vote. How do you know which candidate will make the best choices? Hmm, that's really hard to do. You listen, you read, you talk to the people you trust. Sometimes you can even ask the candidates yourself. When election day finally comes, everyone goes to the nearest voting place. Once you've had your 18th birthday and your name is added to the list of voters, you can vote too. At every voting place, everyone stands in line. Everyone finds their name on the voter list. Everyone votes for a candidate. And someone wins! If you're old enough, it is important to vote. If you're not old enough, you know what to do. What are you gonna do? Listen, read, talk, ask and tell someone who's old enough to bring you along on election day. When the voting is done, you might get a sticker. And that sticker will say, I voted. There are other ways to vote too. Just so you know, sometimes in the state where I live, you can do absentee ballots where you send it in the mail. You might not get a sticker that way, but that's okay. Um, sometimes there's not a line. Sometimes there is a line. It's, it can be different day to day and person to person. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I read that so we could talk a little bit about what voting looks like. Every two years, we have a big election that, uh, oh goodness, one of the books explained it. It's the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November. So early in November, Everybody gets a chance to vote every couple years. And every four years, we vote for the president. So this year is one of the years that we will vote for a president. But on the other years, it's still important to vote because those are all the people who help make decisions too. Yeah. All right, so we're, we talked a little bit about voting. I think, whew, we need to sing a song. What do you think? I would love to sing because sometimes voting can be a tricky idea to talk about. Let's sing a song that you know really well. Let's sing The More We Get Together. We're gonna use a few signs for The More We Get Together. We're gonna use the sign for together. Or, I'm sorry, that's more. We're gonna use the sign for more. And then the sign for together where we stir a big pot. Good job. We'll use the sign for happy. Yeah. And we're gonna try to squeeze in friend which is where your fingers give each other a hug and a hug, okay? If that's a little too fast, you can just point. Are you ready? Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. And it is very important that we get together. Remember in the book, it talked about how important it is for our votes to count together. And we're not always going to be on the side that gets our way. And that happens and that's okay. But if you don't even get to vote, oh, then nobody gets to hear your voice. So that's why what we're talking about with women having to be brave and speak up and say, I want to get to vote too. And then they got to hear their voice too. Yeah. All right. So 
we did talk about being brave a little bit. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more, because we talked about voting, about being a girl. I love this book. It gave me goosebumps the first time I read it. It's called Like a Girl, and it's by Lori Degman. It's illustrated by Mara Penny, and it has some incredible famous women in it that you can look up more information about, okay? At the beginning and end, in the end papers, it has who each of these people are, in case you don't recognize them. Um, some of them, I'm gonna show you some other books about them too, later. Ready? Like a Girl, and it's from Sterling Children's Books. Stand Up Like a Girl, by refusing to stand. She was making a stand for rights there. Stand Up Like a Girl, by extending your hand. Stand up like a girl, raise your fist and resist. Stand up like a girl, keep on going, persist. Look at that little girl. Yeah, you know what? She was somebody who did not have equal rights. That, she, that means she wasn't allowed to do everything she needed to do. So she had to start going to a school that was different. And she was the first person like her to go to that school. Her name is Ruby Bridges. You should look her up. She wasn't very old when she started. Prevail like a girl, using senses unknown. Prevail like a girl with a strength all your own. Prevail like a girl when the hill's hard to climb. Prevail like a girl, you'll succeed over time. Create like a girl, let your inner self shine. Create like a girl using shape and design. Create like a girl telling tales full of wonder. Create like a girl writing poems strong as thunder. Soar like a girl with your eyes on the sky. Soar like a girl, let your free spirit fly. Soar like a girl past the moon and the stars. Soar like a girl and you may land on Mars. Train like a girl though your muscles all ache. Train like a girl till you feel you might break. Train like a girl to be faster and stronger. Train like a girl till you can't any longer. Change the world like a girl to empower the weak. Change the world like a girl, helping those who can't speak. Change the world like a girl, from the land to the sea. Change the world like a girl, so we all can be free. Ask how, like a girl, and discover the ways. Ask why, like a girl, and you might be amazed. Ask what, like a girl, and you'll learn something new. Ask who, like a girl, and the answer is you. All right, you did great. Now this book is not a book to make boys feel bad. It's not. Boys, you are incredibly special too. All of my friends are incredibly special and you can do amazing things. But there was a really long time where it was thought that girls couldn't do some of these things. Like girls couldn't be runners and girls couldn't be astronauts. But is that true? No, we can do anything. And so the important part of this book is that you can do it and you are allowed to do it. There are still parts of the world where girls are not allowed to do things like going to school. Mm -hmm. And girls are not allowed to have certain rights like driver's licenses and things like that. So it is important for us to know that girls can do anything and it doesn't take anything away from boys because you can do big things too. All right, our next book is gonna be about being brave and helping to make those big decisions and standing up when you know something isn't fair. All right, but before we get to that, let's do another song. Since we did, the more we get together and that's kind of a song that I like to do starting when you're really little. I want to do another song that I love to do when you're really little. Let's do Skinamarink. We haven't done it in a while. Are you ready? All right. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do. I love you. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skinamarinky dinky dink, skinamarinky do. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Boop, boop, be doo. Ah, good job. I always tell my
my story time friends that I'm sorry when we sing a cappella because I don't know where I'm gonna go. A cappella just means you sing without music. All right, so I don't know where we went with that, but thanks for going with me. Our next book that I wanted to read, like I said, is about being brave. Because when we see something that's not fair, and we know it's not fair, there has to be voices that say, that's not fair and it needs to change, right? So I am so blessed because there were lots of people a long time ago who said, this isn't fair. Women deserve to be able to vote. Women are smart. Women are people and they matter. That's right. So it took a lot of bravery to say that. It did. So I want to read a story about being brave. Do you remember we talked about being brave? Does brave mean you're never scared? No. Everybody gets scared because sometimes things are scary and it's okay to be scared. Brave means that we do what we need to do even if it's a little bit scary to us or even if it's a lot scary to us. If it's something we know we need to do and we do it, that's being brave. Are you ready? Brave by Stacy McAlty and illustrated by Joanne Louvenus. I can't do that one. I'll show you, okay? There we go, there's their names. <laughs> and it's by RP Kid. A brave kid seeks adventure. That looks pretty exciting. A brave kid has super strength. Hmm. Is that what you would normally think of for strength? What's she playing? Do you know that game? That's chess. Hmm. They might be thinking about really strength, really strong brains. And a courageous heart. Oh man. Do you get a little bit scared when it's dark? Sometimes I get scared when it's dark. Me too. And look at how brave this big brother's being. He's looking for the stuffed animal, even though it's dark. A brave kid leads the team and never gives up. A brave kid answers the call. Oh, what happened in that picture? What's in the tree? It's a kitty in the tree. Oh, good helper. And fights the toughest battles. A brave kid speaks for truth. And the kid is saying, I'm sorry. What happened to that lady's garden? Mm, I think the pupper might have ripped it all up. Mm -hmm. And stands for justice. Wait, that's what we are talking about, isn't it? Standing up when you see something that you know is not fair. That's justice. Standing up for justice. A brave kid gets back up and stays calm when others are afraid. Oh, that takes bravery. Mm -hmm. Brave kids can save the world. Oh, what are they doing? That is so kind. It's kind and brave. Yeah, they're picking up trash. Just by being brave. All right, and then at the end it shows the kitty in the tree again. Yeah. I bet you are pretty brave. I do. I don't no, if you want to learn more about any of these ideas, but I had a lot of books that I thought were pretty incredible. If you want to learn more about voting, I have a couple over here. The vote that changed, oh, the voice that won the vote. That's right. Couldn't see it around the other books. The voice that won the vote is about a mom who's helped her son make the right choice that made a huge decision. And he had to be super brave to win, help women get the right to vote. Um, the Vote for, Vote for Our Future is a great book about how voting works and what kids can do with voting. 
to encourage people around them. Uh, one vote, two votes, I vote, you vote is a Dr. Seuss book about voting. And, oh, there's another one. There's a lot of voting books in the nonfiction collection. Don't be scared of the nonfiction collection. And grownups, if you need help finding some books about voting, please feel free to reach out to the library. We'd be happy to find you some. And you can pick them up at our curbside pickup. All right, so those are some books I had about voting. If you are specifically interested in women getting the right to vote, which happened how many years ago? 100 years ago, it is what is the women's rights movement would we'll tell you a lot more about some of the very important people who helped with not only getting the women the right to vote but getting women equal rights in general this is a pretty big book yeah so this is probably if you have a bigger kid that's interested in this idea mm -hmm. all right and then i had some other books about really amazing women in history oh Boy, I found so many of those books. So I'm just going to show you a couple of them. There's way more behind me. I ran out of space on my table. I can't possibly bring up two tables to show you books. That would be silly. So I wanted to make sure I showed you She Persisted. is a fantastic book about different women throughout history. There's 13, and it's all women in America. And then there's also Around the World. Um, and that's women all over the world who've made a big difference. Shaking Things Up is another one that is about different women throughout history who made a big difference and had to be super brave to get equal rights. Um, if you are interested more in standing up for other people when you see that they're not getting treated fairly, that's called being an ally. If you are standing with somebody else, who's not getting fair treatment and trying to help them get representation. That means help them be heard and seen. That is called being an ally. So if you are interested in learning more about being an ally, grownups, oh, I checked this book out and my kids and I have been reading through. These are some amazing people. And it's called Never Too Young and it's 50 Unstoppable Kids Who Made a Difference. Grown-ups, a lot of these kids' birth dates are like into the 2000s. I know, I felt real old too. Um, but it's so incredible. There are some, some kids around the world who are working for equal rights for themselves. And it's all sorts of different stories. Some of them are older stories like Helen Keller. Um, and then some of them are more recent stories like those ones born after the 2000s I told you about. So I really like that one. And then if you're also interested in learning more about being a, an ally to people who need representation, Intersection Allies is a book about what it means to be an ally. And it's called We Make Room for All is underneath that. Um, and it is about being an ally for not only somebody who's a woman who might not get the same rights, but somebody who looks different and somebody who has different skills um, and different interests. So it's a really interesting book. Um, it's a great introduction to the idea of being an ally. Whew, I talked a lot. Yeah. Was it too much information? It might have been. I'm so thankful that you came and joined me and that we can celebrate women getting the right to vote. You know what I forgot to tell you? Yeah, it's only been a hundred years for women who looked like me. Mm-hmm. Yep. For black women, it took even longer to get the right to vote. It did. So we still have things that are unfair. Thankfully, all women can vote now. But we still have things that are unfair, and there are still things that we need to be brave and speak out about when we see it. All right. Hey, friends, I know you're super brave. I know you're going to change the world. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.